Hello, crafty friends. It's Erica, Scrap Diva 29. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. I am coming on today to share with you the new May release for ScrapDivaDesigns.com. Super excited. Another amazing release. So let's jump right on in. The first die set looks like this. This is called a paperclip mini album. Um, I was inspired by a lot of paperclip mini albums that I was seeing um, on, on social media. And I thought, how cool would it be to have a die set um, to create the paperclip mini album? So that's exactly what we did. Um, it comes with several little pieces. As you can see, this one has like some little leaves and some little um, dragonflies. It has a scalloped border base. And then on this side, you have um, the stitched layering piece and some more leaves to decorate. And then you have um, the base piece as well for uh, layering uh, on this side right here. Super cute. It is approximately four and a quarter inches long by three and a half inches um, wide. So that is new in the shop. And then the next die set we have is this 12 piece flower die set. This one is really, really pretty cut out. I've already cut it out. It does have the embossing detail, as you can see. And there are some really tiny flowers that look really, really pretty. And I just know that this one is going to look amazing. I can't wait to see what the design team creates. They are amazing at making paper flowers. So this is new in the store. The next die set we have is this ladybug uh, tag. You get um, three different sizes with this one, and I think this is gonna be so much fun for spring and summer crafting. Um, and you don't have to create a tag if you don't want to. You can just create the ladybug and cut the little tag part off or just decorate it without the tag. Uh, lots of options with this one. And then up next is the golf cart uh, die set. I thought this would be super cute for Father's Day cards or anyone that loves to play golf, um, lots of girls. Um, play, not just boys. Um, and I just thought this would be a really fun um, die set for that. Up next, and let me just measure that one for you. This approximately measures three by two and a half, so it's perfect for card making. The next die set we have is this uh, doily handbag gift set. Um, you do get the words that read gift, gifts, treats. And then you also have a doily um, flap and then you have layering pieces to decorate um, the inside and the top portion of the flap. You also get the stitching pieces for the box and it has these cute little hearts in the corners, which is a really nice accent. And I do have one cut out, so let me show you what that one looks like. So this one has um, the little hearts right there that I was talking about, look how cute that is. And then there's the word treats. Now on this particular one, I did use a Velcro dot to close it up. And then on the inside, it looks like this. Um, you can use double-sided paper, which makes it really fun. You don't have to worry about what it looks like on the inside. And that's one option right there. And then I did decorate one with one of those metal snaps. Um, again, there's the little heart detail in the corner and on the top. Now this particular one, I did use the little gold snap you can get those off of Amazon. I've shared them before, but you get um, the little detail up on the top and on the bottom, and then this is the inside. So you have plenty of room to stick in your little treats. So super, super cute little gift box, and it measures approximately three and a half inches wide, and it's approximately three and a quarter inches tall, in case you're wondering about the size. And then the next dice that we have is the pop-up card. You do get all the little layering pieces for the card set. Um, and then you get some extra little um, pieces right here that you can use to decorate. Again, this would be a great um, card to use for Father's Day. And then this is the base of the card. You also get the hearts, you get the hammer and the drill. You have your stitched layering piece uh, to decorate the card. And then we have the new pocket page journal die set. This one is so, so cute put together. You have the little um, uh, garden tools in the center, which you can use to decorate. You even get this piece right here, which creates a label on the back. You have um, a base piece. You have another piece to create another pocket. And then you get these two pieces right here, which will create a border so you can create a shaker. 
and then you get these two larger tools right here. I'm going to show you what this one looks like because I did put it together. And I did do a little reel on the Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. As you can see, I created a shaker. It says sparkle and shine. This is where the label is. You could definitely add some brads right there or some bling, um, but it's perfect for making mini albums. You can make a mini, mini album out of this. You can use it in your traveler's notebooks or your uh, journaling um, books that you create. And on the back, you can see that there's the, the pocket where you can insert um, either a journaling page or a picture, however you decide to use this. Um, but this measures approximately six and a quarter inches long, or six and one eighth inches long by about four and a half inches. So it's a really nice size die set. Definitely recommend you pick this one up. This one's probably gonna sell out very fast. I just have a feeling. And last but not least is this beautiful diamond mini album die set. Of course, you can create cards and other projects, 3D projects with this, but I think this is gonna be perfect for um, Mother's Day. You also get a smaller diamond. You get the stitched paint layering piece for um, the front of this, and then you have the base piece with um, the, uh, the tab. This measures approximately, let's see, four and, four, four and a quarter inches long by five inches wide. So again, perfect for um, girl-themed um, mini albums, weddings, birthdays, um, the possibilities are limitless with this one. Really love it. Um, I didn't make a project with this, but I did cut it out. I wanted to show you how pretty that's going to be. Of course, you can make a shaker out of this if you want. And you could fill in the leaves with different colors. Lots of possibilities with this one. So this is the new release for Scrap Diva Designs. Make sure you head over to ScrapDivaDesigns.com and check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask, leave a comment, and um, I do want to remind you, you can use my coupon code, it's ScrapDiva10, to save 10% off your order. If you place an order over $100, you can use the discount code FREESHIP and get free shipping on your order. So make sure you take advantage of those discount codes. All right, until the next video, I'll chat with you soon. Bye for now.